There is something special about Hachiroku. The way it drives, feels, and sounds. The moment you first get into the car, you feel like you're attached to it. I've always loved the Hachiroku. In fact, it was the first car that I ever owned. My first memory of the 86 was when I was about 10 years old, and I've always remembered it as I was growing up. In the late 80s, this was the car that all the car guys wanted in Japan. I've always liked the design and the way it looked, and I still do. When it was time to buy my first car, the 86 was the only one I had in mind. So when I was 17, my friend found one that was ready to drift for 200 bucks. People say that if you can drift at Hachiroku, you can drift anything, and I believe that's true. Since then, I've owned a lot of cars, S13, S14, and R32, but I've always wanted to get back into another Hachiroku. Since this car has been so special to me, I've always been looking for a chance to build another one, and the opportunity finally came. I basically wanted to build my ideal Hachiroku, something I couldn't do when I was 18. I'm a drift and grip driver, and I want this car to be able to do both. So my plan is to put in the newest tech into this 30 years old car. I like the 86 for drifting, and I have a history with doing grip with Hondas. So one of the biggest things that we are going to do is a FK8 Civic Type R engine swap. Even though we are putting a different engine in it, I still want to retain the soul of the Hachiroku. My main goal is to keep the balance and make improvements that make it more reliable. I'm so excited to finally build my dream car. And I can't wait to see all this come together. <laughs>